I am inviting the representative of the Electronic Information for Libraries. Thank you, Mr. President. Electronic Information for Libraries enables access to knowledge through libraries in more than 60 developing and transition countries. We came to Marrakesh with high expectations. We knew that negotiations would not be easy. We hoped that the resolve of the delegates would see through the difficult moments. The prize to give new life chances to people with print disabilities, most of whom live in the developing world, was too great to lose. We commend delegates on reaching an agreement. We recognize that a treaty focusing on beneficiaries is novel. However, a mandatory requirement to allow certain uses of protected works is not a new precedent, i.e. the making of quotations in Article 10.1 of the Berne Convention. The quotation exception and its mandatory nature stems from a principle that framed the negotiations leading to the formation of the Berne Convention in 1884, described by the distinguished Swiss delegate Numa Droz, and I quote, it should be remembered that limits to absolute protection are rightly set by the public interest. Thus, this new treaty continues in the spirit of a tradition set by the founding fathers of the international copyright system. It will help the system to work today for people and it will help to earn respect for copyright law in society. Libraries are key agencies serving print disabled people. We will share the news with our colleagues at the National Library of Lesotho that the legal barriers to the chronic shortage of accessible books described by one former VIP student as a disaster, are being lifted. We'll tell staff at Ulaanbaatar Public Library in Mongolia that the children who currently rely on ancient Braille textbooks published during the socialist period will be able to access modern materials on their new daisy readers. We will explain to the Lithuanian Library for the Blind that in future, they can get books for national minorities who need literature in other languages, such as Polish and Russian, and that they can serve qualified users from Lithuanian emigrant communities living in other European countries. So we look forward to working with our governments so that the benefits of the treaty are passed on quickly and efficiently. We thank all delegations and the Secretariat most sincerely for your commitment to achieving this goal. Mr. President, this is not the end of a process, but the start of an era, an era of hope that the blight of the book famine will finally be coming to an end. Thank you.